Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to another WordPress tutorial. The reason I'm doing this today is Dan asked me how to make a website in WordPress that operates more like this, like a traditional website where you can click on an image, for example, and be taken to another page that has some other images in it, and then bounce over to a product where you could actually buy said wig in this situation. Dan has full rights to be able to use these images and all of this text, just by the way. So I'm not copying anything or doing anything illegal here. But there's a lot of different steps you have to think about whenever you're making something like this. So I'm going to come in here and go to this specific page where it has a lot of different images on it that I want to be able to copy. And let's say that I want to come in here and I want to copy all these different images, these six different images, and pretty much knock off what's going on on this website. Well, I'm going to have to come in here and either do a screen grab, or since I'm on a Mac, I have to use this little guy here. So I'm going to capture selection. But again, on a PC, just do a screen grab that works just as well. Here, I'm going to come in and I'm going to grab roughly trying to grab all of the images here on the screen. I'm going to copy that and jump over into Photoshop, but you could do this inside of GIMP. And then one of the tricks here is you want to make sure that every single image is precisely exactly the same size. So I'm going to take that image that I just copied, paste it in here, and then I want to come in and select all of this information here, all this, all this whole entire image here, my selection tool inside of Photoshop. And then I want to copy it, jump over here into this box that's going to have a set size, and I pasted it in there. Then I want to resize this image inside of here, make sure everything lines up perfectly. And I got my image inside of there now. Okay, now whenever we jump over here to these wigs in this situation, you can do this with any product obviously. You can see these are called Vibrolite Sheer Indulgence. Well, to keep all these images in order so that I can easily tell which ones go on which page, over in Photoshop, whenever I name this file, I'm going to save it as VSI, which is an abbreviation for the, all of those wigs that lie within that area, and then I'm going to call it the Excite, because that's the name of this specific wig. And then, of course, I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Just like that. So I got all those different images. And I'm going to show you this one more time just so you see the whole process. So I come in here, select as close as I can possibly get to the entire image, copy, jump over here, paste it in, and then resize it with a free transform tool. Or again, GIMP has, is free. And I'm going to do a GIMP tutorial eventually because I keep getting people asking for it. I'm going to go File, Save As. And you can see here's all the VSI files here on the screen that I have saved so I know which is going to go on which page. And a lot of this is just stuff that you don't really think of to save time and to make sure all your images are exactly the same size unless you've done this for a while. They're like little silly tricks. And then after I have all these images saved here, I'm going to show you how to upload them into WordPress and then organize them further. Okay, so I have all my images all set up and they're all exactly the same size. So now I need to upload all of those images. So I just come over here to media in the left sidebar and then I click on add new. And then I want to select all those files and because I named them the right way, it's very easy for me to be able to find all the files that I uploaded. As you can see here, VSI. All of them are all right here and easy to get a hold of. So I'm going to come in here. This is called Vibrolite Cheer Indulgence. Click on that. Hold down Control or Command or the little flower if you're on a Mac. And then select every single one of these guys. Let's start with VSI. See, this would have been a nightmare if I wouldn't have put that VSI part in there. Very easy. Click on Open. And it's going to upload all these files into WordPress. Then after all the files are uploaded, I want to come in here, click on Show, and I want to copy the titles, since I have nice names, and put it in alt text as well as the description. You could, of course, come in here and get rid of these dashes, but I'm doing this just because Google likes it. Google likes images to be named and looks upon sites that name their images as sites that are valuable, mainly because you've shown that you've taken the time to do what is right. Okay, now all of your images have alternate text as well as a title and a description. Then you want to click Save All Changes and everything is all set up. Then something that's going to get you a lot more hits is inside of WordPress, you want to come over here into the Settings area and you want to click on Permalinks. What this is going to do is it's going to make the titles for your pages much better. You want to come down here and click on Month and Name as you see right here, and then of course save changes. That automatically is going to make the title show up in the name of your website, which Google likes. 
Again, almost everything I do is for Google's pleasure. Okay, so we have that all set up real nice. So then we're gonna come in. Again, we're gonna be working with pages. So I'm gonna click on pages, and I'm either gonna create, or in this situation, I'm just gonna actually take the page that was already created called Vibrolite, and I'm gonna click on edit instead of create new. We could definitely make a better title here for this, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually call this your indulgence. Okay, super. Then I'm gonna pop over here to this page where it has the information on sheer indulgence. Of course, you might have to write this information, but in this example, we're just gonna copy and paste this information over here from that website. Got all that information right there. Might wanna come in and clean up some of this stuff because we do have the right to do that. And then we wanna import all of our images onto this page and then organize them so that they're all nicely structured like the previous site. So we wanna click where we want our images to show up. And then we wanna come up here and it says add an image. Click on that. Go into our media library because we've uploaded all those images. And then we wanna locate the image that was just the block of text, which is right here. Click on show. And then I have it left justified and full size and sit and click on insert into post. So it's right there. Again, click up here, media library, find the image you wanna upload, hit show, insert into post. And then continue doing that for the rest of your images. Okay, so now I have all my images all placed inside of here, which is super fabulous. And I want to, of course, come in here and make sure that I have an excerpt for all of these different things. And if you guys are wondering at all what this is down here is eShop, which is a free shopping cart plugin for WordPress. So that's what all that additional information is. And I'll probably go into a tutorial on that soon enough. And I'm going to put in an excerpt of what I have here. And I'm going to click on update, but we're not done here yet because I want to make this all nice and neat, make sure it looks the same on the screen. So we got this all here and saved. And if we want to preview the changes, we can see all of this empty space here on the right, right inside of here. And I know that there's more than enough room to fit this third image up inside of here. It just needs to be done in the right way. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What we're going to do is we're just going to put a table around all of this. And to do that, we have to click on the HTML tag. Then we have to look, these are all images that link to the original image itself. So we just have to look for the ending tag for that link in this slew of information. And then we're gonna divide all of these guys up into groupings of three. And I'm just doing this so that I can easily organize everything. I'm putting a space between each one of these. A lot of web design is just tediousness and being organized. Okay, so we have all of our images all broken apart. And now we got to come in here and create a table for all of them. So I'm just going to type in the table tag. And I'll zoom in here so you can see it. And then what do we want to do? We want to have a row of three images. So I'm going to put TR, which is the code in HTML to define that we're creating a row. And then we're gonna come after the third image. So just scroll down, there's one, two, three. And we're gonna put a closing tag in HTML, which is forward slash TR. So now all that's all gonna be organized. But then we have to also define the three columns for each of the images. And we're gonna type in the TD tag and then the closing TD tag, just like that, except forward slash. And then surround the next one with a TD tag and a closing TD tag. And we're gonna do that until we get to the end of our row. And then we just create another row after that. Followed by a TD tag. And just to make sure that I keep these inside of th three, I'm gonna come down here and TR. Again, this is all tedious sort of things that you do in web design. Okay, so I have all of these tables now set up. Remember, starting with the opening table tag that we have at the very top of the screen, and then followed by rows with three images on each that are inserted between these TD or column tags. And of course, I have to go scroll the whole way down to the bottom of the page and close off with my closing table tag. All right, now that I have that set up, scroll up here and click on Update. And you'll be able to see that now all of those images are all organized in a table with three images per row. It's all nice and neat. However, if we're looking at this guy over here, which is our template that we're working from, I know there's more space in between here, but I actually wanted less. So that's why I set up everything. Well, now we need to set it up so that whenever you click on these images, you don't go to the image itself, but instead you go to another page. So here's the main page that we have right inside of here. Then we have the Vibrolate Your Indulgence, 
which is this site right here. So I'm actually going to come in here and select it, hit copy. That was the actual website address for that specific guy right there. And then I'm going to click on the image inside of here and then come up here to the link area. And I'm going to paste in the new location. And I'm just going to say same window. And I'm going to type in a description or a title, which is a good idea. Not needed, but definitely helps you with search engines. And we can click update on that. Now we have all this saved, so let's just go to pages all together. And since we have our pages set up, and just by the way, so that you know this, you can see here, if I zoom in, see so it says brands, and then we have our Raquel Welch, which was actually what we were working on before. And then you can see all the different drop downs that come from here. This is an elegant themes theme, by the way, if you wanted to know. Okay, so we have all those set up. How specifically did I do this? Because I get asked this question constantly also. What I did here, if you look over here on page attributes where it says page attributes and then parent, and I have brands set up, well, as my parent, if I had no parent, then if we click over here again, see, here's brands. So by putting the Raquel Welch page specifically here, what that allows me to do is to associate these with the drop downs that you see here on the screen. So this is brands as the parent, Raquel Welch is a child of the brand's parent, and then our new page that we just created, Vibra Light Share Indulgence, is a child of the Raquel Welch page, just so you know. Then to save time, what I'm going to do is come in here, okay, 100% human hair. I'm actually going to jump over to the site itself, Raquel Welch. Here it says human hair, I'm just going to click on that. And this is site is a work in progress, by the way. And I'm going to come in here and copy this and see, because we changed the permalinks earlier in this tutorial, you can see there's words inside of here and just that is just random nonsense. So that helps you a lot. I'm going to click in here, click where it's already highlighted, paste, same window. Name and freeform memory cap two. Click over here again, memory cap two. I'm going to copy this link up here, jump over here to edit page, freeform memory cap two. Control paste, just so you get it here. And then I'm going to update all of these links and I'll show you exactly what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, so now I want to actually have the product page actually shown here. So what I want to do is come in and again copy what I want off of this screen. And it's going to force me to actually copy it bit by bit, but that's okay. So create a new post. You could create a new page, but you probably want to create a new post. Otherwise, your drop downs are going to get completely out of control in this specific situation. And then just to make sure that my text always shows up the same, I click on the HTML tab and paste inside of here. And you can see that this is a sans serif font. And I want to use serif fonts across my whole entire website. So you can see that by pasting it into the HTML, that makes sure that everything's all nicely organized for me. Now, of course, there's other different ways to clean things up. And obviously, you could also click on the little folder with a T on it, paste inside of here, and then hit insert. But I found that clicking on the HTML tab does exactly the same thing for you. So why not do that? Save yourself some time. So I'll come in and copy the rest of this. Paste it. Copy. Paste it. Okay. And then because I named my images so well, it's going to be very easy for me to find my new my images that I saved in my media library. So I want to click where I want my image to show up and then click add image, go to media library. And I could have hundreds of images inside of here. And this is going to be a very easy way for me to find it. So media library. And I'm just going to click inside of here and I'm going to type action. Search media. And it's going to find my picture for me. See, I didn't have to struggle. Hit show. Insert into post. And there's the image exactly where I wanted it to be. And of course, you can come in here, click on this image, and edit it if you'd like to, but I don't want to do that. But what I do want to do is copy this link to this image, and I'm doing it right here. Copy. And then I'm going to come over here. Also, this is things that are done. Keep your information nicely organized. I'm going to say, specifically, I want this brand. And the situation, I'm going to say short and straight. Of course, I'm guessing not everybody watching this is making a wig website, but that's the type of things you do. And then, of course, putting tags in here is great as well. So I'm going to come in here and get that, paste, boom. Hit add. That adds the tags or the keywords. And then click on publish. And then if I copy the link to this, I can jump over to one of my other tabs, go to the action image right here, click on the link, paste into here the location for that new web page. Hit update, and then update this page as well. And of course, you'd want to come in here and do all of those other different pages. But to show you exactly what it looks like, I'm going to go back to the main website, click on Wix for sale online, go to brands, 
find Raquel Welch via Berlage, your indulgence. This is all the stuff that we just made. And you can see, here's the page, all nicely organized. And if I click on action, it takes me to that post that I created, along with all that additional information. Now, of course, I could also go to the main Raquel Welch page and click on same place, Vibrolite Sheer Indulgence, which is going to take me to the Vibrolite Sheer Indulgence page with all of our information all nicely organized in tables, as you can see right here. And if I click on action, you can see it took me back to the same place. So that's how you create a website or pages inside of WordPress that make them operate very similar to a regular website. So if you have any other questions or comments about WordPress or anything else in this tutorial, leave them below. Otherwise, till next time.